welcome ESO fam. Today we're jumping back into the Elder Scrolls Online to get you some sweet loot without breaking the bank. This time we're on the hunt for the Mother's Sorrow Lightning Staff. Unlike my previous two videos, this is not a cosmetic item. It's an actual useful piece of gear from a very good overland set that you can use while you adventure around Tamriel. What's so great about Mother's Sorrow? It gives you a ton of critical hit chance when you wear a full set of five pieces, making it one of the strongest overland sets in the base game. Toward the end of this video, I'll show you how to farm the other pieces of the set. You want five in total to gain the full benefits from Mother Sorrow, and all of them can be found for free by simply playing in Dishan, so please don't waste your gold buying it from guild stores. Some of the prices are ridiculously high. With just a little time investment, you can earn each piece of the set by questing, delving and doing dolmens. So let's get started. Starting in the Dishan zone, the first thing you want to do is head to the eastern side of the map and locate the Silent Mire. There's a handy way shrine really close to the start of the quest, helpfully called Silent Mire Way Shrine. The two quests we'll be doing are relatively short and shouldn't take up too much time. You can also do the quests on multiple tunes if you want more than one lightning staff. Speak to Varazine, just outside Silent Mire. He informs you that the village has been attacked by pirates and will send you in to speak with his mate, Leel Vata, who has been trapped inside. You'll find her in one of the huts. Leel Vata tells you that her brother, Seeks the Knight, was angry that he wasn't made village elder, and so he led the pirates into the village as revenge. The pirates stole some important Argonian relics, which you are tasked with retrieving. This starts the first quest, the Ravaged Village. The goal here is to kill pirates. Some of them will have relics on them, which you'll get back by looting them once they're dead. The Hist branch that you need to get is guarded by an elite enemy called Sorceress Maravar. She's not too tricky to take down, but if you struggle you can always use a companion or ask a friend or guildie to help. Return the relics to Lilvata to complete the first quest. You'll immediately be given the second quest, the Saving of Silent Mire. First you need to go around and free captured Argonian villagers. Pick up the key from a nearby enemy tent and then free nine captives. They're helpfully chained up in groups of three, so it shouldn't take too long to do this. As soon as you free the last three Argonians, Seeks the Knight will appear to you in a ghostly echo form, because he's obviously too afraid to face you in person. After speaking briefly to him, head back to Lilvata, and she will tell you to summon Seeks the Knight back to the village using the magic of the Hist branch. To do this you need to head to his house and, once outside, use the branch. Seeks the Knight will have now been summoned into his house, so you can go inside and kill him. Once done, you can return to Varazin, the Argonian you spoke to just outside the village, to complete the second quest. And that's it! You'll be rewarded with the Argonian Muckminder of Mother's Sorrow, which is the Lightning Staff. Like I said earlier, each piece of the Mother's Sorrow set can be farmed by doing activities in Dishan. For the waste or feet, you want to do delves. These are like mini dungeons that you can easily solo. For shoulders, hands and weapons, go to the public dungeon in Dishan, called the Forgotten Crypts. It's a bit tougher in here for new players as enemies tend to group up, but you can always wait for others to arrive and stick close to them, or ask for help in zone chat. For the chest, legs, head and weapons, you want to farm world bosses. These can also be challenging for newer players, so again, don't be afraid to ask for help. For rings and the necklace, complete dolmens. You will always get a piece of zone set jewellery from closing a dolmen. And there you have it, a free Mother's Sorrow staff that you can use while you level up and quest in ESO. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and if you want to see a video about something specific in ESO. As always, your support helps me grow my little gaming channel, so don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe for more ESO content in the future. Until next time, happy travels!